if you want to hear want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day if you want to build your faith your faith grow in god's grace, god's grace. To have a better connection with jesus christ so tune in to good god's morning 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 what's up good people how y'all doing good god's morning to you Pray all is well with you, beloved, on this fine Friday morning. Whew. Good morning, everybody. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning to you. Good to see you all. Uh, it's another day, beloved, that the Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we are going to. That's right. Rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning to you. Kenita, I need you to call me. Good God's morning to you. I need you to call me after this, okay? Good God's morning to you. Let's get our scripture. Hey, honey, y'all say good morning to the first lady. Good morning. Good God's morning to each and every one of y'all. Listen, let's get our scripture for this morning. Whoo. Our scripture this morning is coming from Joel. That's right. Joel. Some people say Joel. Some people say Joel. However you want to pronounce it. Okay? Joel. All right? Chapter 2, verse 13. And it says, Rid your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in in love and he relents from sending calamity mm, good god almighty let's look at this this morning here beloved you know it's interesting when i was reading this um just a few seconds ago before we came on live um it's interesting that it uses the word rid okay rend rend all right when we look at the word rend rend means to tear into pieces to, um, you know, it's not like anything glamorous or glorious, okay? Um, it means to tear, you know, put into pieces, you know, tear. And I was sitting here thinking like, God, why would you, or why would he tell the people of God to rid your hearts and not the garments? Well, here it is again, beloved. You got to go back to history. You always got to research. Don't just, don't just read surface and go on about your business. Go back and read research. Go back and get the history as to what is going on. Why does he say this? Well, first of all, looking at this, beloved, you got to understand when as a, as a form of repentance as a form of, you know, um, um, sorrow, you know, or, 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 or not necessarily grief in a sense that you're grieving over someone, but you're grieving over the, what you have done. Okay. In a form of that, the people of God would rip their clothing. You know, they would walk around with ripped clothing. Um, if they were, um, What's the word? If they were ill, like if they had an illness or something, you would see them with ripped clothing. Some of the some of the ones in the Bible talk about those that had um, the um, diseases, spiritual diseases. You know, they were possessed with demons or whatever. You know, they walked around their clothes ripped. Okay, and so that identified them as being um, ill. Um, and also identified others as being sorrowful, repentant of whatever they had done. Okay. Here, Joel tell them, like, listen, don't rid your, don't, don't rid your garments. Don't just tear your garments, but God wants you to tear your heart. Mm -hmm. Tear my heart? Yes, tear your heart. That means, in other words, beloved, we walk around every day and we have a whole lot of stuff on us, a whole lot of stuff that, that we have, you know, we've been carrying and we've been bearing and, you know, a whole lot of things, people, a whole lot of people in our heart. You know, it's just a whole lot of space that is being taken up and God is not there at all. 
Mm. God cannot take over and cannot do what he wants to. The Bible says, with all your heart, with all your might, with all your soul. So with all of everything that you have, okay, all of your heart, all of your soul. God wants to take all of that space. He can't take all of that space because you got everything else cluttered in there. So what Joy tells him to do, that listen, don't rid your garments. Rid your heart because that's the most important thing that God wants. He wants your heart. So rid your heart of all the people that your, your past, um, the past situations, the issues, the concerns. Rid your heart, your sins, your sorrows. Rid your heart of all of those things from the past. For even, even right now that you're dealing with get rid of that stuff and then he tells them to return to the lord your god get rid of the stuff that is in your heart that is keeping you from god and once you have done that return to god a lot of people, we would, some people think that it's okay, you know, just to walk around and say, I'm sorry, but they never change in their heart. Oh, good God Almighty. And some people think it's okay just to say that we've changed, but yet we haven't turned from anything. It's still in our heart. It's still there. No, God's just saying, get rid of it. Rid your heart. Tear your heart into pieces and return to the Lord. Understanding that God is always gracious. He's always compassionate. He, he, he is not uh, uh, quick to anger. He has, he has been patient with us. He is gracious to us. He always abounds in love with us. He doesn't take uh, a pleasure in our calamities, beloved, but he would, he would want us. He's not concerned or he is not taking pleasure in the fact that you're ripping your heart. No, he's taking pleasure in the fact that you have gotten rid of what's in, in your heart in order to allow him into your heart. Oh, good God Almighty. He's not, he's not, he's not concerned or he's not applauding you that you just ripped your heart, but you've got to do something, beloved. You've got to get rid of that stuff. Tear your heart into pieces and remove that which is not like him. God, whatever this is, God, whoever this is, God, whatever I have allowed to grow and, and, and manifest and fester in my heart, God, rid me of that. Remove it from me. Move it out of the way because I want to be filled with you. Oh, good God Almighty. He says, return to the Lord. This is how you return to him. People of God at one point, they love the Lord. And you know, I've never been, but we're going to go to um, Alaska and we're going to go to Africa. I always see it on YouTube. The people of Africa, they are hungry. The people of, 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 of uh, Alaska, they are hungry for the Lord. They haven't allowed things to be to fill their heart to where they they don't they don't know and they don't understand that that God is supposed to be there. We have allowed people things to fill our heart where God has supposed to be and that's why it's a struggle to worship. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a struggle to get in his presence because we're so bogged down and our heart is so heavy and his heart is so full with the stuff that we got going on. God says get rid of that. Do you not understand that when we get rid of that stuff that God can take control because God is he he he's able to 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 control it. He's able to remove it. He's able to wash it. He's able to clean it. He's able to do whatever it needs to be done if we fill him with our heart. The people, when we when you look at the videos and stuff of people of Africa, they, they are in the presence of the God, in the presence of God, and they're pouring out, and they're just, ooh, basking in his presence because they know in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Everything you need is in his presence. If we just allow God to take control and fill our hearts we won't worry about the stuff that's on the outside. When they come into the person, they come into the sanctuary, when they come into the house of the Lord, they're not concerned about their issue. They're concerned about God and getting filled and refilled and, and, and just giving God praise and glory and honor because they understand that God is in my heart. It's, I'm not worried about the stuff. I'm not worried about the issue, the concern. God is going to handle that. Beloved, what is in your heart today that you need to read? What is in your heart today that you got to get rid of? You need to let go. Let go and let God. As soon 
is I stop worrying. Worrying about how the story ends. As soon as I let go and I let God, there's a song that the Wall Street, Wall Street singer saying that there's a voice that's crying out in the in the in the silence. He's he's crying out for the one who will receive him. He wants it all. He wants your heart. He wants it all. Get rid of the stuff, beloved. Rid your heart today. Let it go. Let it go. I promise you, nothing that you have in your heart is worth God. It's worth who God is. I promise you that. I promise you that. I promise you that. Let go of the stuff. Let go of the things. Fill it with God. And watch what God does. Come on, let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, this morning for your word. We thank you for the opportunity to commune with you and our fellow brothers and sisters. God, we just want to thank you. Hallelujah. For the opportunity, God, that you, for opening up our ears and open up our eyes to hear what thus says the Lord for us this morning. God, some of us, our hearts are filled with everything but you. Our hearts are so cluttered. Our hearts are just so all over the place. God, help our hearts to come back. Help us to rid our, ourselves, our hearts, of that which is, is not like you. That which we've been holding on and we haven't let go. God, help us, Lord, to fill our hearts with you. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your graciousness, your mercy. God, that hasn't consumed us when it, when it could, when it should. When we, when we put everything else first but you. But Father, this morning, we ask you, God, to help us rid our hearts of anything and everything that is not like you. We thank you, Lord. God, forgive us of our sins that we've committed knowingly and unknowingly. God, forgive us how we may have neglected you when we should have put you first. Forgive us, God. Lord, we acknowledge our sin. We acknowledge what we've done wrong. And God, we ask your forgiveness, Lord. We thank you that you've forgiven us. We thank you that you brought us back into right relationship with you. Now, God, fill our heart. Fill our cup, Lord. Let us overflow. Fill us up, Lord. Fill me up till I overflow. God, I want to run over. I, I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. Woo, good God of mine. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up, God. Fill, fill us up, God. Fill us up, God. Fill us up. We thank you, God. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, God, for your presence. We give you praise, glory, and honor. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Bless us, Lord. Hallelujah. As we endeavor to do your will, God, as we go throughout this day, as we begin, oh God, in, in the next coming days, our Lent season and go into a, a, a moment of prayer and fasting. God, help us, Lord. Woo! The devil is busy, ain't he? He's trying to distract us this morning. God, that's some balloons I had to pop, blaze. Praise God. But anyhow, help us, Lord. Even the balloons can't take the heat. <laughs> Woo! Good God Almighty. <laughs> help us, Lord. Yes, sir. Help us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Even the days to come, God, that we would pour out our spirit, pour out God unto us. We would fall and we would, we would be enjoying with you, oh God, so that you can fill us up, God. Fill us up. Fill me up. Fill us up, God, till we overflow. Lord, we want to run over. Hallelujah. We want to run over. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and honor. Bless us now as we endeavor to do your will throughout this day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen <laughs> and amen. <laughs> the balloons over there acting crazy, y'all. <laughs> they can't take it. They can't take it either. It's getting too hot in here. Woo! Good God Almighty. That balloon said, I got to get rid of this heat in my body. Woo! Praise the Lord. Good guys morning to you all. Good guys morning to you all. Listen, God bless you all. You all have a wonderful and blessed day. It's Friday. Y'all, we getting ready for our couples ball. If you ain't got your ticket, listen, it's, I ain't saying it's too late, 
but you got to 12 o'clock today to purchase your ticket if you coming, okay? 12 o'clock, 12 noon today, 12 noon, because listen, I we've got to get ready. We've got to make sure that we have enough for everybody, okay? This is a, a catered event. We, make, we want to make sure, that's why we buy tickets and we buy it in advance. So if you have not gotten it, you have to 12 noon today to get it, okay? All right? All right. Well, good God's morning to you all. Pray all is well with you, that you continue to have a blessed and beautiful morning. And we'll see you all tomorrow, the same time, the same place for another good God's morning. Good God's morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. Want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.